Okay, so, um, did the tweet go through? It's very important. No, it didn't. I'm tweeting about it. Because right now it says on the paper schedule that this is the Elite Three panel, but that's tomorrow at two. I don't know when our panel is. Tomorrow at some time. At some no, time. It's, it's pretty early, actually. Ooh, West Memphis. Here we go. Let's see. What should I say here? My I always say terrible things when I'm at horse cons on Twitter, like like bad puns and stuff. It says, my panel starts right now in main events at Midwest Brony Fest, Kansas City. Come be a horse. There we go. That doesn't make sense, but I said it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you going to debut in the middle? I, I was going to wait until the middle. We have something to show for you, but we wanted, wanted to do some Q&A first and talk first. Get to know each other, you know? I don't want to just jump right into the video, you know? Let's, let's calm down. Let's spend some time together. Buy me dinner first. How are you guys doing? <laughs> doing all right? You like the con? <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm Jesse Nowak. I am also Jesse Nowak. Yes. Because <laughs> this is the Nowacking panel, so we both have to be Nowacking. You're in my male version. What is that? Yeah. Roll, roll something. <laughs> <laughs> roll 63. There we go. Roll yeah. 63. Um, so, uh, if in case you have no idea who I am, I'm a voice actor and parody writer for the, the stuff. Um, I started acting when I was six. I did um, musical theater and stuff like that, and um, I've just fallen in love with it and been doing stuff ever since. I really enjoy it. I started voice acting like six years ago. Um, since then, I'm known for like Pokemon Bridged, Dark Swamp, Helsing Ultimate Abridged, Attack on Titan Abridged, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh Abridged now, <laughs> um, Tome. Uh, I'm Izumi in the English dub of Queen's Blade Rebellion. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you can just Google me if you, <laughs> if you need more information than that, because I forget. Um, but yeah, so in the horse community, I voice uh, Vinyl Scratch and a bunch of stuff like Epic Pie Time, Epic Web Time, Pony Rock Anthem, I'm Octavia, and I'm also Little Pip in the Follow Equestria Radio Play, and I was Gilda in Turnabout Storm, <laughs> and uh, a bunch of stuff like that. So, um, Mike is one kid, so you, you can introduce yourself. I mean, it's your panel, you can do what you want. <laughs> You're right! Oh God. We're not going <laughs> to introduce him. <laughs> um, no, go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, so uh, I'm One Kids. I, I'm her best friend. That's why I'm up here because she forgets things about herself. If you were here at the last panel, you saw that. I have a bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm actually up here because I came up with the basic idea for the thing we're going to be debuting. So, uh, and it's, and it's going to be part of our, our group stuff. So and Mike is not a brony, which is great because he came no. up with the idea for it. <laughs> you can't be friends with this girl <laughs> and not pick some things up from the brony community, you know? That's true. That's so true. So I, I, yeah. Um, but I've been in a lot of the stuff that she has been. I've been in, um, I'm obviously uh, the one of the co-creators of Pokemon Bridged. I do voicing in it. I'm the editor. I edit Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged. I've had, a, um, I, I was also in uh, Little Karibos, uh Naruto the the spoof fan dub comedy spoof <laughs> series show or whatever it is the um, wonderfully long name that Martin created yeah. for it I don't <laughs> remember it the, uh, yeah uh, I was also in Team Four Stars two series usually as dying characters um, you forgot your starring role of punching me in Brony's React I'm getting there okay all right okay, okay. I punched her in Brony's React it's your biggest role so I just I don't want you to forget it yeah um, <laughs> You didn't clap for any of the other stuff, but because I punched her in the face. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Oh, it's all right. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. It, it took a lot of convincing. Convincing. <laughs> it took a lot of convincing to get him to fake punch me because he was like, I don't want to punch you. I'm like, no, no, no. It's a fake punch. Okay? You just come over and we do this. And then it's like, it's like you're punching me, but it's not real. And he's like, I don't want to do that. I'm going to hurt you. I'm like, dude, I, I've done stage acting forever. It's fine. Just hit me. And then he like lightly hit me. And I'm like, why did you hit me? <laughs> I was like, you said to hit you. No, I don't. Uh. So it took a lot of coordination. There's a lot of bloopers from that. Um, a lot. A lot. More bloopers than not bloopers, actually. That's, that's well, yeah, because you usually only choose one take. That's so true. Yeah. That's okay. True. So um, <laughs> I mean workable takes. Like, none of them were usable because you'd, you'd go to hit me, and then you'd start laughing. And I'm like, no, that was perfect. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. Um, but, yeah. So he's here because yep. um, Elite 3 is going to start doing some horse stuff, which we will premiere in a bit. But I want to do some Q&A first in case anyone wanted to Q, and then I would A. And there's a the microphone there. So if anyone has any questions, then, then that'd be it. 
Really? Does People no one have questions any can questions? Look. That's amazing. Yeah. I've never had They all just want us to debut the thing. That's probably like if we yeah. say <laughs> If we sit down, they won't show it. It's crazy, though, because every time I'm afraid of how many questions there are because we can never get through them. But this time it was like silence, and I was like, really? <laughs> I can just talk forever? <laughs> hello. Hi, yes. again. The people who matter are back up. Uh, now oh, hello. The people <laughs> <who> <laughs> right. back. Um, that's a joke from the last panel. <laughs> <laughs> we have inside jokes. Um, <laughs> this is actually just for you, Jesse. Sure. Um, it's the no-whacking panel. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fine. Um, one of my favorite roles of yours in general was the work you did as Gilda in Turnabout Storm. Oh, thank you. It was, and it was, I think it probably, because when you mentioned earlier when you, like, the roles that you had to do in, like, in terms of vinyl and you, like, how she got deeper, mm -hmm. that was a very intense radio play. And the role for Gilda was very intense as well. What was it like? You know, obviously, as everyone knows, Gilda's an already a very angry character. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, watch the newest episode. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but it was, what was it like channeling that side of her and now knowing you have done two things that the character who does Gilda has done? Raga Hendrix, with yeah. Revy in the light, in the light with Marika. Mm -hmm. um, what's it like, kind of playing these kind of angry characters, not just Revy in a parody way, but mm -hmm. Gilda in a very serious rainbow uh, r play, radio <laughs> play. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gilda was probably one of the hardest roles I've ever done, just because I hate voice matching, and that's mm -hmm. I wanted it to be perfect. I'm a big perfectionist, and if it wasn't perfect, I like um, I think she had 150 lines mm -hmm. in total. And I'm crazy, I'm a crazy person. Normal people don't do this, but I submitted all of my lines and then I listened to them and I didn't like them. So I went to the person and I was like, I wanna redo all my lines. <laughs> and they were like, you have 150 lines. And I was like, I wanna redo them. Is that all right? And they were like, yeah, go for it. I mean, <laughs> so I redid all of them again <laughs> and I'm still not happy with them. So it was a very challenging role for my ego because I was like, you're not good enough, but I tried my very hardest, and at the end of the day, th that's all I can do, and people still love it, so I'm, I'm happy that they're happy and you're happy. Yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, I'm sure if anyone here has seen it, they'd be, obviously, it's not very often you see things very serious coming out of this fandom, which is things yeah. like, which you have been involved in quite a few of. Yes, um, I'm glad I'm getting all the dramatic stuff. I, know, right? <laughs> well, I, I mean, to be fair, the, the, the show is about cartoon horses, so that's, it's that's probably not going to be super serious most of the time. <laughs> The best, some of the best things to come out of the fandom have been the serious things, and with Fallout Equestria, mm -hmm. and also Turnabout Storm, it's very different, and mm -hmm. you did very well on both of those. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it was it was very um, like, I love doing more dramatic stuff, especially with horses because it's more rare. You know, it is a rarity. <laughs> um, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, uh, it's great because this is the second, no, she was the first Marika Hendricks character I played, um, and then Revy came second, and I was like totally nervous because Marika Hendricks is one of my favorite voice actresses, and um, she was Revy in Black Lagoon, for those who don't know, and Gilda, so um, she has such a unique voice, and I didn't want to screw it up. I almost didn't give Revy a voice in Dark Swamp because I didn't think anyone could do it, you know? Like, I didn't want to half-butt it, you know? <laughs> I wanted to like full-butt it. I love my censoring on panels. None of them make sense. I say ascot. At least you <laughs> do censor yourself, because I keep forgetting. <laughs> Especially at a horse convention. God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was very challenging just because uh, I'm such a perfectionist, and like I just wanted it to be perfect, 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 and I had to redo it, redo it, redo it. Uh, editing Dark Swamp takes like four times more long than it should, because I have to keep redoing Revy. <laughs> but yeah, so it was a challenge. It was awesome. Hi. Uh, as your work as Vinyl Scratch, mm -hmm. how do you know what to bring or what source material did you draw on to bring what you did to a character whose only canon basis is her profession? Basis. Canon Sorry. basis? <laughs> no pun intended. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> only canon basis mm -hmm. is her appearance and profession. Yeah. It was, um, you know, when I got the role in Wub, no, Pie Time, it was my first time voicing her ever. And. My friend Rob Bob, uh, he knew me because he was a fan of Pokemon Bridge. And so it's kind of a stereotype that everyone on the internet knows each other, because we kind of do. So we're both writers, so we, we hung out. He's a really cool guy. And he showed me the scripts for Cupcake Time, and he was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this. And I was like, this is amazing. you got to do this. And then he sh uh, it happened, and it was amazing. And then he wanted to do Pie Time, and he sent me the script for that as well. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. 
oh, you got that like DJ horse in there. That's cool. That's cool. Um, if you want, I have some free time. If you want to like shoot me a line for her, I'd be up for that. Little so it's just I a random thing. Yeah, I didn't know anything about her, but Rob was like, yeah, actually, yeah, wow, you'd really fit her. And I was like, really? Oh, I don't, I don't know anything about it. He's like, no, 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 I want to give you a line. So he talked with a DJ friend of his and was like, what should Vinyl say? And then they gave me a line, and everyone went crazy. <laughs> Uh, and then web time happened because everyone was just going crazy so bad. And I was like, crap, now I have to learn about this character. So <laughs> I read fan fiction. I looked at fan art. I absorbed as much. I wanted to see what the, the community thought of vinyl. And then I combined it with my own personality because that's I what Rob wanted to do. I just assumed that they based it off of what you brought to her. What? Yeah, some of, the, some of the fan stuff came first, though. And then I drew off of that. And then it was like kind of like make it a pie, no, a cake. <laughs> you put all these ingredients in. It was a little me, a little my personality, a little bit of you know, um, fan fiction, a little bit of this. And then the cake came out, and that's what vinyl's like. Um, but I'm glad that you didn't say pie, because unlike cake, you don't ever mix ingredients together for pies. I'm going to mix Very the good. cherries, and Very that's good. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Rob wanted me to be myself. When I got in to record on Skype, I was like, OK, so how do you want the character? Do you want high voice, low voice? Uh, what's her personality, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, just be yourself. And I was like, D no, you need to give me something to work off. He was like, literally, just be yourself. It'll be fine. And so I was myself, and people love it, you know? Like, vinyl and my personalities are so similar now that you can't really yeah, tell them apart. you're synonymous with the name of vinyl scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Some people can't tell me apart from the horse. They'll be like, hi, vinyl. And I'm like, my name's Jesse, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was a little bit of both, you know? I wanted to create my own kind of thing for her, so that was cool. Uh, thanks to your series, uh, Dark Swamp, I kind of yep. started watching Black Lagoon, so I don't yes. know if I should thank you or hate you, so... Both. <laughs> Both. Black Lagoon is wonderful. <laughs> but, uh, but it tears you up inside, so... Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I was actually wondering, when do you think that, uh, we'll be able to get more of that? Because I've been waiting for more episodes, Oh, so. yes. People have been wanting it. Um, it's, uh, episodes four and five are the musical episodes, and so it's taken a while to produce because... Once it happens, it's going to blow you away. So I'm, I'm liking, uh, if something takes longer, I want it to be better. So the quality should go up based on how much time goes by. Uh, Living Tombstone is doing a song for it, and I got a preview last night. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, my God. Um, so we got to write that back and forth, and it was great. Um, I'm aiming. I don't want to say a date, because then it'll be wrong, and I'll be like, I'm sorry. Oh God. What are you aiming for? I'm aiming for fall. Do you think that's accurate? I thought we were aiming for sooner than that. Really? Okay. I mean, on the calendar, which we totally have. We that's have actually not sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> we have a color-coded um, calendar for Elite 3. Elite 3 <laughs> is um, us and we do Pokemon Bridged, Dark Swamp, the horse thing you're going to see, uh, controller rollers. It's all covered under the Elite 3 name. So Dark Swamp's part of that now, which means I actually get to focus on it more, and it's great. We were hoping some point in July. That'd be amazing. There we go. Some Hoping. point in July. It, it, it depends <laughs> on people other than us getting their stuff in, and then Jesse has to edit it all together. Mm -hmm. I've been so. waiting on people is the thing. People's lines, people get busy. The thing about Dark Swamp, it has such a large cast that you, I have to wait for people because I can't recast because I'm a fragile flower and I don't want to hurt my friends' feelings. <laughs> Actually, um, one of the, just so you know, Black Griffin, who's here this weekend, oh is yeah. in Dark Swamp. So I don't yeah, know if you... Uh, uh, Black Griffin is uh, Leg Arch, and he was also a businessman in episode one. And yeah. His blooper reel is amazing because I uh, there's a blooper reel for Dark Swamp episode one and he just goes off and he does like Donald Duck and he does <laughs> like it's a whole thing just watch it it's great mm -hmm. uh, but yeah thank you yeah sure <coughs> hello hello I uh, wow um this is I uh, I actually practiced a lot for voice acting yeah. and uh, I really liked your work for. Elite Monty Sunrise Surprise, and uh, yeah, yeah. so I actually have a ch I have a choice for you to make, and I will do my impressions. Oh great! <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog, Big Macintosh, or Scooby Doo? Can you do Scooby Doo doing an impression? Woo 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 woo! Yup. Amazing. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, first of all, do you yeah. remember me? 
Yeah. I told you about the base cannon. That's awesome. <laughs> My question is, oh, now I'm totally blanking on it. Just a second. No worries. No pressure. Oh, right. Do you think you're ever going to be able to voice vinyl in the show? Unfortunately, I can't because I'm not in the Canadian Union. I uh, live in America. <laughs> <laughs> At least try to get Andrea to get you in somehow. <laughs> Unfortunately, the unions are like super kind of like, they don't, American. Uh, how it's, how it it's how unions work. Yeah. Like the, I, the idea is, is collective bargaining. Everybody, you know, if they, if they all come together un under a union, they can, they can you know, get higher wages and, uh, and benefits and such. So because of that, they can't let non-union workers work a union show. Also, did you love Vinyl's role in Rainbow Rocks? Oh, yeah, totally, totally. I loved the freaking rumors that were going on because people love to lie about everything on the <laughs> internet. It's amazing. I would hear rumors like, no whacking is totally voicing Vinyl in uh, Rainbow Rocks, and she just can't tell anyone because then it's an NDA. And I was like, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> this is the first I'm hearing of it, but maybe they made, <laughs> maybe they talked to me and I don't remember. While you remember. were sleeping. You were sleep While I was sleeping. Sleep voice like, acting. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I was just wondering, you know, um, what was your favorite episode, and um, which villain do you hope comes back in the new season? Um, I really liked uh, Hurricane Fluttershy. That was a good one. Um, I love Discord. He's great. He's my he's probably my, my favorite uh, villain in My Little Pony. So I, I hate to say it, but I don't like how they're making him like. I miss the old Discord. Is that <laughs> fair to say? Like, I don't like how he's getting so friendly and stuff like that. I wish that he would stay like a jerk, well like a straight up um, jerk. <laughs> he did threaten Tree Hugger in one of the episodes. That's true. Yeah. Dimension uh, throwing. Yeah. You know what? I'm liking that. I, I remember I liked that episode. You're right. I um I didn't see anything of season five until like a couple days ago, and I wanted to catch up because I thought people might talk to me about it. And um. Here you are. Here I am. <laughs> I liked that. Now, now he's kind of psychotic in the way, like, yeah, I'll get rid of her friend, and then I'll be her friend. You know, like, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. A crazy person thinks that. And that's Discord. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and Tree Hugger is, like, really great. How she, like, far out, man. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> really? That's funny. <laughs> I didn't know who it was. Wow. Those are very different characters. That's awesome. Um, hey. Jesse, uh, hey. why don't you stay home and play video games? Or we could stay home and play video games. <laughs> Does anyone get that reference? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That's more than I thought. We do um, Controller Rollers. It's a gaming channel. You should check it out. And that's one of our recurring jokes. And I hear it all the time, and it's great. I love it. Also, um, it. can you sign this? Yeah, you? sure. After okay. the uh, panel, I'll be signing and taking pictures. All right. Like. Yeah. Hello. Um, <coughs> do you have any idea when the next Fallout Equestria uh, thing is going to come out? Um, I don't know, because the last episode came out like a week ago, so I don't know if, um, I don't know when the next one's coming out. And she out. can't voice things while she's out. That's so true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I actually, I already voiced the next episode. Oh, okay. Well, there yeah. you go. I'm oh. ahead of the game. Awesome. Okay. I don't know when, um, it's funny, I don't even know what episode just came out, because I record them so far in advance that, like, I don't know where it is or what's happening, but, uh, yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say that you guys look so much like twins. Thank you. Everyone says that. <laughs> <laughs> we went to go get sandwiches today at Pop Ellie's, <laughs> and, and the guy behind there was like, are you guys brother and sister? No. No. Unfortunately, we just look alike. <laughs> well, you just, like, finish each other's sentences. You, like, know what each other's going to say. You just look so much like twins. Yeah, we finish, e we finish each other's. I'm no whacking. <laughs> You see? That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, yeah, sure. Hello. I know that vinyl is animated a lot, so what is it like to hear your voice coming out of a rainbow-colored horse? <laughs> it's amazing. Like, I never dreamed that that would happen. I just... I uh, Voice acting, I only started, like, uh, six years ago, and I, um, I started with parody, so it was, like taking anime footage and then lip flapping it. So it wasn't like me actually animated. It was just like open close, open close. But to see me actually animated into a horse is like crazy. And I still don't believe that it's happening. Um, it's just crazy. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. 
I'm very nervous. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> um, well, I just want to say that you're one of my favorite voice actors, and I bet you inspire a lot of people in this room. Well, thank including you. Including me. <laughs> um, so my question is that I'm a big fan of Dark Swamp and everything. Yeah. So like, and you write it, right? Yep. So like, what made you want to like inspired you to write? something that's totally different from Black Lagoon? Like, what made you want to, what inspired you to do uh, the Bridge series that's based on it? Yeah, there was, um, there's a site called uh, Bridge Forums, and every month or so they held a contest where you make a, uh, an episode of whatever, it can be whatever, um, as long as it's not we a pre- used to do it, yeah. Yeah, as long as it's not a pre-existing series, <laughs> I think. Um, and they would have a topic or something that Cont had to be a done. A contest, a challenge. Do, do you want me to explain it? Because I was go ahead. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, so I'm one of the mods there, right? So it was my turn to make the challenge, and I, I decided. I think it was no, it was Aris. It was Aris. I was about to say I no. couldn't win your contest because that would be cheating. Yeah, like we know each other. We're best bros. <laughs> It'd be like no whacking <laughs> wins. <laughs> like no. I thought you were the one with the bad memory here. Yeah. Uh, ah. Yeah. So, so the admin of the site, Aris, he, uh, his challenge was to give a character mind reading abilities. And uh, and that was and that was all. And Jesse went for something completely different, and with the mind reading thing. So and that's how Dark Swamp was born. Yeah. And she won, so it was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I noticed your congratulations. Thank you. Also, I noticed your, <laughs> also you. I noticed your the prestigious oh, you award. Like my shirt? Your shirt and also your sunglasses. Oh, thanks. On the table. On the table. Oh, glasses. Yeah, the yeah. Gla vinyl glasses. Someone made these for me. Is that guy still here that made uh, these for me? Yeah. Well, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, I probably should have said this last panel, but thank you guys for doing what you do. You're both hilarious. Aww. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and my question is, uh, do you guys plan on doing anything like uh, what you did with episode seven, the D-rub or D-rub, oh however oh yeah. you pronounce <laughs> that? That was way... Okay, so context here for everybody else. <laughs> um, Pokemon Bridged, uh, we did an episode, we, we sometimes redub episodes where we basically rewrite the script and revoice everything and re-edit everything and hopefully make it better. Um, and for an April Fool's Day one year, I think it was 2011, we, we redubbed, we de-rubbed, we <laughs> switched the letters, uh, episode seven, which was basically just the same script and everything with us swapping all the voices around. So Misty sounded like this. Or so <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so Misty was like voicing Ash and Ash was voicing Brock. Like or it was yeah, all like mixed that, up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I was voicing Brock. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to do it again, but the thing is it, it was more editing than we thought it was yeah, going to be. Oh yeah. <laughs> we I were thought, like, this I thought will be easy. <laughs> I thought all I'd have to do is just drag the lines into the original, you know, thing and that that's it. No, 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 no. Because they, they they'd just be slightly off by a couple frames or something, or the timing would be slightly different, which means I'd have to edit the whole dang thing again. It was gotcha. way too much work. So unlikely, but haven't ruled it out. But yeah. Cool, cool. Thank you. Thanks. I'm I think we're actually do you want to show the thing? It's your panel. Okay. People in line, I don't want you to lose your, your spots. You can just sit down if you want, <laughs> like in a little conga line. <laughs> um, and uh, this is, we should just play it, do you think? Yeah. No uh, introduction, just do it? Uh, or do you want to say something? I mean, I think we pretty much already talked about it enough, so. Um, yeah, we could just dim the lights and then. Uh, this is something that um, a lot of people requested and I was like, I'm not going to do that. But then Mike thought of a really good idea for it. I was like, dang it. All right, I'll write the song. <laughs> and then I wrote an entire song around his idea. So. That part at the end was ad-libbed. I literally didn't know <laughs> what to put at the end. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Uh, yeah, so that was, um, people kept asking me to do it on Twitter, and I was like, no, I don't want to do a cover that's boring. But then, Mike, we were sitting in the car listening to All About That Bass. No, there's no way we were. I think we were, because it came no on my way? iPod. It came on my you iPod in my for some car. reason. Really? There's no way. I think we were talking about All About That Bass then. Probably. And then he said... <laughs> And he's not a brony, so I'm always surprised when he like says really good horse things. Or I'm like, that's a good idea. But he was like, I'm all about that bass cannon bass, 
no cello. And I was like, oh no, now I have to write it. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote an entire song just based on that. Based on that. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was a thing. And we've been working on that for a while. Um, Your Enigma did the uh, instrumental. Yeah. And uh, the picture of vinyl was by Cat Whitney. So that was cool. We got to collab with a couple people and do that. So hopefully Elite Three is going to be doing some more vinyl stuff in the future if you guys would like that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So that'll be debuting on her channel. Um, I think I have it set to go live on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, so that would be uh, noon here. Um, yeah. In the meantime, it'll be stuck in all of your heads forever. I know. Because <laughs> I had to edit that stupid lyric video. <laughs> and just listening... As a voice actor, when you listen to your voice too much, you're like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I sound like that? So, oh, God. Yeah. It's, still, it's stuck in my head now. Great. Awesome. Great. Uh, yeah, so we can continue questions. First of all, that was amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so with episode 100 mm -hmm. coming up really soon, how do you think they're going to portray Octavia and Vinyl Scratch, among other fan favorites? Octavia already has a voice, so I think they're safe um, having her speak. But with vinyl, I'm under the firm belief that Hasbro knows if they might make vinyl speak, <laughs> there's going to be a crap storm everywhere. <laughs> because the people who don't like my voice will be like, that um, doesn't sound good. And the people who do like my voice will be like, that doesn't sound good. No one, <laughs> no one will be happy if vinyl talks. And I think they know that, so that's why they're making her silence. <laughs> No one will be happy. There'll, there'll be like one guy be like, I like it. But everyone else will be like, no, it's bad. It's different. Oh my. It'll tear the fandom apart. Yeah, <laughs> tear the fandom apart. <laughs> yes, yes. They don't want to start another alicorn storm, all right? They know what's going on. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, it's kind of nice to meet another Jesse. Hi. Hi. Uh, I've been watching uh, Kev Fair, who does the Tome series, if anyone's seen that. Yeah. And, and he does these Kev blogs. And have you ever thought about doing something like that for your own personal thing? Like your own takes on like blogs? whatever you're deep into? Yeah, yeah. Um, we considered I've it. Um, we, we went for a podcast instead mm -hmm. for yeah. now because those are a little bit easier. Uh, to I'll produce. Yeah, and uh, our, our, our group members are not all in the same physical location, so it's mm -hmm. a lot easier for us to do something audio-wise and just all meet on Skype. So, But we are doing podcasts, mm -hmm. and we'll, yeah. we'll talk about a lot of things on them. They'll be even longer than vlogs, so in a way, you're probably getting more content that way anyways. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Dig the new beats. Thank um, you. <laughs> so, you have said previously that you and Vinyl Scratch share some basic personality traits. Mm -hmm. They're similar. Yeah. Have you ever felt either or you or Vinyl Scratch, you, you, your experiences affect the way she is portrayed? Thank you for yeah. the word. Yeah. Um, Verbs. Yeah. Um, or the other way around. Yeah. Um, a lot of, I drew on a lot of personal stuff in order to create Vinyl's character, especially when she gets more, um, like, I forget who said it, but someone said like the best way to create a character is to write all this stuff that no one is ever going to know about the character, but you know it. So when you're voicing the character, you get that in there, you know, and then, you know, like 20 years down the line, J.K. Rowling would be like, Dumbledore's gay. And from the very first book, he's wearing high stiletto heels. And you're like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like these things that like, no one would ever think of. Like, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Vinyl and I are different in um, ways that like Vital's a little cockier than me. Like she's like outwardly like, I'm the best. I'm gonna put my face on a t-shirt kind of attitude. And I'm kind of more shy and um, introverted, you know, even though like when I'm at horse cons, obviously I don't seem introverted, but I kind of am, you know, I need time to recharge away from people sometimes. But at cons, I'm like, hey, what's going on? Awesome, all right, man. And Vital's also a lot better at talking to girls than I am, like infinitely. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Thank you. It's we have the cookies, club, which is called a brony convention. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right there with you guys on that one. <laughs> we have cookies and tears. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, and yeah. one last quick question. Sure. Uh, the way you portray Vinyl Scratch has become sort of a universal, oh, that's what Vinyl Scratch is supposed to be to most bronies, I would say. Thank you. <laughs> um, how does it feel to have that power? I mean, you, c you could say in a future video, you can make Vinyl Scratch say, oh, I love cookies and rainbows, and I will <laughs> put my, I don't know, I'll anything plant I a say fish is canon. anything you say. <laughs> That's how does, giving how does that power me, feel? That's giving me in particular a lot of power here because if I suggest something to her <laughs> and then all you guys are going to follow it <laughs> later yeah. on. Oh, well, you, you dared oh. me to write a song about a sandwich as vinyl. I so did, yes. I might take you up on that. Okay, good. Um, yeah, it's, it's a powerful feeling. It's very powerful. I mean, I just in that song, I just made her canonically gay and there's going to be people like, she's not gay. She should be with neon lights. And I'm like... This is just my, this is just me doing it. You know, you don't have to follow it. It's cool. It's whatever. It's powerful. Wait, there are males in My Little Pony? <laughs> <laughs> they are rare and in between, but yes. Oh. Yes, there are. They must be uh, very happy. Yes. <laughs> 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 that, I've never thought about that. You're right. You're right. They must be I very mean, unless happy. Unless they're all gay. That's <laughs> all true. The, all the That's yeah. true. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, uh... Did you ever make it to Galacon? I did not. Year? Oh. <laughs> it's funny, I was never going to Galacon, <laughs> but the commercial made it seem like I was, so I got all these messages like, I can't wait to see you at Galacon. I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm not going. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and then I think maybe they thought I was going, and that's why it was written like that, because then I got a tweet from Galacon like, do you want to go? And I'm like, I already made plans. I'm going to BronyCon. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to your competitor. This year, they're not uh, on the same date, though, so that's good, but I still can't go. That's a sad story also. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, people still ask me for, oh, my God. I was about to say people keep asking me for bazingas. <laughs> that's not That's not the same Get out. <laughs> <laughs> you are kicked from the no-whacking panel, no-whacking. I no love whacking. Big Bang Theory. Bajangles. <laughs> Bajangles. <laughs> Bajangles. <laughs> and uh, probably you get at this a lot, but uh, do you know which episode she premiered in? Art of the Dress? Yes. <laughs> Seven seconds. Like Seven seconds sec of glory! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I counted. I counted the seconds, and I was like, this horse is seven seconds on the screen. What are they doing? <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> Third time. <laughs> Have you guys heard about my super awesome Rattata? <laughs> super awesome Rattata, is that from- Stop me? calling me! <laughs> my Rattata's in the top percentage of Rattatas. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Sorry. I was, I, was, I was trying to remember if that was Pokemon Bridged or Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged because Martin- No, 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 that's a Karibo, reference to the game. I know it is, oh, but okay. it could have been in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged because Martin vote. voiced it. Both, yeah. Yeah, uh, no, we, we included Youngster Joey. There was like a little kid who yeah. looked like Youngster Joey in the yeah, show. In Pokemon Bridge. And Pokemon Bridge. And we gave him Joey's voice from Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Yeah. And that was a joke. And then later on, years later, when, when we put Pokemon Bridge in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, he had Joey act from, from Yu-Gi-Oh! calling Ash to talk about his Rattata. Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Crossing the streams. I can't keep track of all these <laughs> bridges. Hello. <laughs> yeah. um, well... I uh, have like two questions. The first is that you said that you were working on a Pony of Bridge series thing. No. <laughs> oh, I, I thought that you said that you were like uh, you heard your voice coming out of a rainbow horse and. Although she was just asking what it was like to see my voice animated, you know, like into oh. a horse, you know, like vinyls in epic oh. time and stuff. And uh, I guess the second is, mm -hmm. what is your favorite to? Uh, a bridge series to uh, work on. Ooh. Uh, I know. <coughs> yeah, Jesse. I love Dark Swamp. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> and Pokemon Bridge, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pokemon Bridge and Dark Swamp um, always have a good place in my heart because I get to write them, you know? And Dark Swamp is like my baby because I'm the editor and the writer and one of the main characters. So I sit there and I like I can edit for like nine hours straight and just record a line, put it in there, see if it's all right, edit that, put another line in. So I just work and work and work. So I can't decide between Dark Swamp <coughs> and Pokemon Bridge because they're just so 
special to me. But those two. <laughs> yeah. What about yours? Uh, Pokemon, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. No offense to Martin. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! version is fun to make, but it's not mine. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for letting me uh, ask two questions. No, of course. course. <laughs> I was going to ask that um, in any of the Miley, uh, My Love Honey episode, did you help make any songs? In the actual series? Nah. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm located in New York City, and uh, the show is made in, like, somewhere in Canada. Who knows? Vancouver. Vancouver. There we hey, go. I'm not a brony, and I know that. Ah. What is wrong with you? I mean, you absorb the culture. Uh, but, yeah. So. <laughs> um, Hi. Uh, second time. Um, I have a really hard question to ask you. All right. Okay, not even some of the people here probably know this. Who's older, Fluttershy or Pinkie Pie? Are you crazy guys on the show? Oh, man. One episode, season one, I'll tell you that. I'm a year older one. than you. So Fluttershy said I'm a year older than yep. you. So Fluttershy's older. Boom. How did I even know that? Woo, <laughs> <laughs> woo, yeah. On season four, mm. there was an alicorn neon lights. How do you feel about that? I forgot about that. He finally became a princess, you know? He just, <laughs> that's what he wanted to do with his life. It wasn't music. Do it you was wish, being a princess. Do you <laughs> wish that Vinyl Scratch would be an alicorn instead? Oh, yeah. Princess <laughs> Vinyl Scratch. Um, was anyone here at BabsCon last year? Yeah. Yeah. Eileen Monty and I did a, a skit for um, opening ceremonies where um, M.A. Larson was a guest at the con, and uh, Vinyl came out with wings, and she was uh, Octavia was like, Vinyl, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, yeah, this, some guy was just handing out wings like candy. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great because I met um, uh, him at a party later, and I had my wings with me, and my friend who knew both of us was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Larson, you take these wings. And he was like, okay. And he held the wings. And he was like, now give it to her. <laughs> and so M.A. Larson gave me my wings. And that's canon. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my favorite stories. <laughs> Hello. Well, actually, my question is, are you and Ellie Monty, like really good friends in real life? Oh, yeah, totally. No, we hate each other. It's all <laughs> fake. <laughs> I hate her. No, she's great. She's really awesome. Yeah. She was also in Pokemon Bridge, actually. Yeah, she was Aya in Pokemon Bridge. Which is Koga's sister, no, daughter. daughter. Sister we in the confused. original, daughter in ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, she's really awesome to work with, and uh, it's just lucky that we keep working together, and finally we got to like talking and be like, oh, we like each other, too. Awesome. We can hang out and stuff. She's really great. Also, Vinyl is the best horse. A Vinyl? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, I have a question of the, from the Pokemon Bridge uh, sure. talking about what is purple, and how do you purple? We already got this question. I have not moved from the spot since we last <laughs> got this question. No lie. The a I will give you the exact same <laughs> answer. Figure it out. And it's not because we're dicks. It's because that's the answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I actually uh, have something here for you. Oh, cool. Hey, it's purple. <laughs> We found it! We found purple! <laughs> Mystery solved. Oh my god! Tiny use! <laughs> Tiny use! Oh, it's so cute! Oh! Thank you so much. This is awesome. <laughs> if anyone remembers Brony Reacts, I like me some Tiny U's. Oh, no so capital cute. U's? No. Tiny. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, oh, nice sorry, cosplay. My voice, <laughs> thank you. My voice is kind of crap right now. Um, no worries. Mine I'll is too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just kind of just doing this and hoping people don't notice I keep drinking water. I <laughs> uh, hope got two quick questions. The first one is, I don't know if it's been asked, has Asbro, Hasbro uh, contacted you trying to hire you or saying stop? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I just get a letter in the mail from Hasbro. Stop. stop. <laughs> Lo love has I, I would frame it. Daunting. I would frame it over over my bed and just look at it every night and be like, I remember that. They'll send you an they'll send you an actual stop sign. <laughs> and I'll wake put it up. right outside your door. Yeah, so yeah, every day when you walk out, it's like right there. Yeah, it's not even the on the street. <laughs> you gotta pay for the shipping too. Yeah. For the stop sign. I'll go in my bed at night and there'll be a horse head <laughs> from Hasbro. Ah! <laughs> um, 
<laughs> no, they haven't. Um, what's good is I put up um, the Vinyl Scratch bloopers from Epic Web Time, and oh. it's a uh, <coughs> excuse me. It had a picture of vinyl, which was still, and then the background was animated with um, a fireplace. And back when they were doing their thing where they were taking down like everything uh, yeah. that was fan animated, I didn't know because I don't pay attention to my channel. <laughs> so years later, I look at it and it says it's blocked in some countries. I'm like, well, I didn't do anything. That's not animated. I didn't make a cartoon that doesn't belong to them. So I submitted it's a counterclaim. And within like an hour, they sent back, okay. <laughs> so I'm taking that as a sign that like Hasbro's watching me and they know who I am or that's something. That's <laughs> I don't want to give people false hope though, because that's not how it works. It's just yeah. it automatically whenever you submit the first claim, uh, the, the the first step of the process when you counterclaim it, it'll automatically go back up. And then if they decide to, it, they they will get a notification like, hey, the video's back up. D do you want to go to the next step? And if they okay. decide to go to the next step and give you a strike and take it down again, then they can, which they did not do. Yeah. So that that to be fair, it's not like they were like waiting for Jesse's email. Like, <laughs> hey, can I have my video back? Yeah. They yes, were no whacking. No we will give it to you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They just sit by the computer waiting for Noacking to contact them. Like, oh boy. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> about time. Why won't you notice this? <laughs> uh, yeah, the second one was when you did like the, um, I think it was like the Halloween or horror at Bronies reacting. You're wearing the banana suit with the sunglasses, just throwing them on, yelling yeah. points. Yeah. Will you do that again, please? <laughs> <laughs> if he asked me to be in another um, Halloween special, I, I just might. Because that's, uh, yeah, I, I own a lot of <laughs> costumes. I own a gecko costume also, oh. so I might do that. <laughs> I love that banana costume. I have never gotten so much mileage out of a piece of clothing <laughs> than that banana costume. I use it, I was like a To hit on girls, like mileage, you got mileage? Yes. Yeah. I just walk up and I'm like, hey baby, you got massive appeal, and so do I. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And then they throw their drink in my face and I'm like, cool. <laughs> Hello. What, I what is your favorite song or parody that you made? Ooh. There is. Um, you know, the bass, that was all about that bass. That was um, really fun to work on because I got to, like, write the whole song. Usually it's. Except it's for the parts I did. Oh, the chorus. God. I'm sorry. You're, you're oh, totally the chorus. It's only the most memorable part of the song. <laughs> God. I'm sorry, horse famous one, kids. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, because usually it's people contacting me. Oh, Winter's effed up with Animated James. That was really fun. <laughs> That was, oh my god, that was so much fun, because, yeah, it was really cool, because he, he did the music video for um, Black Griffin and Michelle Kreber's cover of Beat It, and he didn't have my OC in it, and everyone was complaining, like, where's no whacking? And I was like, guys, shut up. <laughs> it's like a, it's a little video, shut up, it's fine. But then uh, I met him after our, uh, the fan BA panel at BronyCon, and he was like, hey, dude, I didn't know you had an OC, otherwise I would have put it in there. And I was like, no, it's totally fine, dude, it's your video, it's, it's, it's fine. And he was like, you know what, I want to do a video with you and Eileen Monty. And I was like, oh, awesome. And he told me the concept for it. And I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so he put my OC in there because, like, you know, our uh, OCs. And he didn't tell me that he was going to do the stuff with Eileen Monty's OC with the wing boners. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tell me that. So I just watched the video. I'm like, ah, <laughs> that's fantastic. And in the end with the mistletoe. It was so funny. Everyone ships us. Everyone. Everyone. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, I was always, th this joke always interested me through the whole series. I just want to know if there was a backstory to Ash's talking hat and where that came from. We thought it'd be great if um, Ash had this magic hat that feeds off of the intelligence of whoever's wearing it. But Ash is so stupid <laughs> that the hat can't absorb anything and it can't even talk. No, it, it absorbs too much. That's the problem. Yeah. It loses the ability to talk when Ash is wearing it. Yes. Usually. So whenever Ash is not wearing the hat, it can talk. But then it goes back on, and it's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> So that might be coming back if there's scenes where he doesn't have the hat on. But he has the hat on so much that we couldn't really... And eventually you know. he gets a new hat, so... Yes, so we'll have fun with, with the new hat. We don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, hat and uh, just one other question. Do yeah. you have any plans at all to uh, bridge version of Pokemon, the first movie? Or, or should I have not asked that question? Here, uh, do you have any plans to do something else? I don't, I don't <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Is that all we're going to say about it? I think that's all that needs to be said. All needs to be said? All right. Yes. Hello. 
um, I isn't necessarily like a question, but like, well, sort of. But I'm sorry, I'm nervous as crap. No Will worries. you accept this vinyl art I made for you? Oh, totally, yeah. Come here. <laughs> um, That's so cool. Look how cute it is. Look how cute it is. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so cute. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. Let's clap. <laughs> I'm getting so much swag from this con. Um, <laughs> I well, what do you think of the Brony Analysis community, and uh, who is uh, your favorite uh, analyst? I don't actually know what that is. Is it a video series? or? Oh, I'm sure yeah, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, they uh, review, uh, review uh, episodes, uh, and oh, cool. well... Uh, I think that the one that mm, is, and I want to point out that there's one whose uh, style fits your uh, yours quite well, uh, named yeah. Silverquill. Okay. So m maybe yeah. you should check it him out sometime. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my favorite reviewer of My Little Pony episodes is Mike because he hates everything. <laughs> We, we'll 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 be watching the show and um, and you know the horses are there and uh, and there's some there's some horse oriented problem of course <laughs> of course of course um, yeah, of course I tried turning that one and I yeah, can't do it of course. Um, and um, and I'll just scream at the screen <laughs> use magic <laughs> you have magic what are you there's no problem you have magic. There are no rules. <laughs> Use it. <laughs> a lot of the problems could be solved with magic, and I didn't see it before. He was like, oh, well, well. Hi. Hi. I met you at the uh, um, post con. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You might recognize me, you mm -hmm. know. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I went to the store just a few hours ago. And don't you believe it? All of the potatoes <laughs> were gone. Maybe someone bought all the potatoes to give to me, but then lost them all. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> That's my head cannon. All right. But thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> hey there. Uh, hey. Just talking about uh, how he reacts to some of the episodes. Uh, are you two ever going to get back on uh, Brony's React? And I, I would like to see him uh, yeah. react to to uh, some of the Brody reacts, the way that he is talking about it. <laughs> okay, it's so like, like I, I yeah. I've considered because all right, I, I've watched now all of season one and a couple episodes of season two, and I'm sorry by by that point in time when those episodes had aired, Bronies were already a thing, right? And everybody says, oh, it gets better, it gets better. I don't care. Bronies were already a thing. Whatever you guys saw in the show probably had already happened, and it hasn't happened for me yet. I'm not clicking with it as well. Okay, I'm sure it's a good show, but I don't see how it's much better than <laughs> I, I don't see how it's much better than any other kids' show. So that it's not special to me in the way that it is to you, and I respect that. You know, it's fine. Everybody has different preferences. So I was considering, you know, if there was a way for me to do a non Bronies react, <laughs> you know, yeah. like yeah. something, I, if there would be a way of making that happen, but I felt like it would just come off as uh, insulting, you know, and I didn't want that. So, oh yeah, <laughs> well there you go. <laughs> so. No. <laughs> Whenever they start singing, I go and I run to the computer for the mute button. Um, <laughs> it's true. We watched, um, what episode did we watch last night? Where Rarity was singing about Rarity something. Rarity goes to Canterlot. It's like, I'll be the toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. <laughs> I'm a horse pony. Every pony. I'm toast. Um, <laughs> and he like rushed and hit the mute button. I was like, Mike, no, it's a good song. But the subtitles were still on because it was Netflix. So I was singing it. I was singing it really bad. I was like, I'm a toast. I'm a pony. Horse, horse. <laughs> so you get the songs. You just don't get the real songs. <laughs> It's much better listening to her try to recreate them <laughs> anyways. So. <laughs> the All right, thank you. Top hits. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, so just a little bit ago, you guys were talking about using magic. So what I do you think? I do it remember saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think it must be like being a Pegasus and becoming an alicorn, getting like a giant horn kind of coming out of your well, head? Well, when it happened for me. <laughs> 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 when a horse reaches maturity, their <laughs> bodies start changing. <laughs> um, I think it would be great because 
I picture if I was a Pegasus and I suddenly got magic, I would try to like, they have to like, I don't know how they pick up forks or whatever. They probably just eat with their mouths, you know? But when you have magic, you're like, oh, I can open this door with magic. I can do this with magic. You can literally solve all your problems with magic. I can it wipe is my magic. butt now. That is the point. <laughs> yeah. So, interesting. <laughs> Thank you. They don't even need wings, though, like because they have magic. <laughs> they can float. They can <laughs> give themselves wings with magic. <laughs> <laughs> That is karate that chop is with that magic. That is the magic oh, yeah. symbol. I <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm going to just ask a very simple question. Of sure. like, um, What is it like to write for Pokemon Bridge? What kind of state of mind do you have to be to come up with the <laughs> things that are said <laughs> on that show? Very dark, dark <laughs> mindset. You literally have to be a very like twisted person <laughs> to like create that show, but it's great because Mike, Jerry, and I also, um, when you're writing with partners, it can be difficult if the, the two or the three of you or how many ever people don't have the same kind of uh, personality and the same type of humor, you know? But luckily, Mike, Jerry, and I lucked out and we clicked together really well. Mm -hmm. So we'll be like, hey, this is a terrible thing we should do. And Jerry's like, let's do it. <laughs> like, awesome. Jerry's never the one who says that. It's me. That's, that's you. <laughs> Jerry's, then, Jerry's this innocent okay. guy. That's how, I, that's how I know that our terrible jokes are good is when <laughs> Jerry, this most innocent guy, like, we'll laugh at the idea of Tracy's parents being wiped out in a blizzard because they live in a nudist colony. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> See, now, he laughed at that. <laughs> and that's how I know, like, all right, it's not just dark, it's also good. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it was just dark, then it'd be just dark. <laughs> like, uh, that'd be sad. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, we have a bit in the next episode that's all. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> We do something terrible. She doesn't want us to show the preview that we have of the next episode because it is so dark. <laughs> this is a brony convention. Yeah, we have um, a panel um, tomorrow. Well, thank you very much. Yes, I want, I want to show it, but I might. We might have to do like trigger. We could just do a trigger warning or something ahead of time. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, there's blood. <laughs> no, there's blood. No, I'm not joking. That's there's there blood. will be blood. <laughs> uh, we might show yeah tomorrow at our. Um, there's an elite three panel, and we might be like, hey. What, what time is it at? Does somebody have the schedule for tomorrow? 2.15, awesome, and there it's in go. panel two, so yeah. yeah. Do you feel awkward on stage? Yes, I always feel awkward on stage, and it's great you said it, because I can't say it, otherwise it's awkward, but if you said it, it's good. <laughs> I'm always so awkward. Well, I, I, I don't know about, uh, I, 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 yeah, I think it's just getting used to the level of awkwardness, because I'm like here on display, and like, you guys don't know, but there's a million eyes looking at me right now. It's like, uh, uh, uh. Um, it's just getting used to it, I think, because I started um, with theater when I was six, so I'm used to the audience being dark and you can't see anyone, <laughs> but now it's like, I see everyone. There's a million eyes in here. Uh, so it's just getting used to the feeling of like, every time before a panel, I'm like, or if I musically perform, I'm always super like, <laughs> like, oh God, I gotta do this, I gotta, get in the mindset, but once I'm, like, I've been up here for a while, so I'm kind of more chill and more like, hey, okay, I'll answer your question, I, you know, I'm, thr I'm guzzling water a minute, a second, that's a, an expression, a minute, a second. <laughs> yeah, it just comes with experience, I mean, some people, you know, it doesn't matter how much experience they get, you know, it, it, there, there's a certain amount of, uh, you know, just you as a person, can are you built for that sort of thing, and are, are you not, now, I'm not built for that sort of thing, but I've got enough experience at this point where it's like, okay, I can kind of, you know, I'm, I'm all right up here, but I'm not as, as talented at it as you, so. This is also the Noack, e uh, the Noacking Ego Stroking panel. Oh, yes. In case <laughs> you uh, didn't know. Yeah. More me. Hello. <laughs> All right, so if by some weird plot-forcing way, you two were shoved into Equestria, what would you do? I would just fly forever. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> but it also involves blood. <laughs> <laughs> would you, like, dictatorship, just control all the horses? <laughs> Alicorn. Use magic! <laughs> I'd be cursed. I'd be one of those that doesn't have anything. I don't have the wings. I don't Aww, have anything. Earth pony. <laughs> <laughs> Sad Earth Pony Mike. That really fits you, though, actually, now that I think of it. What? <laughs> just like that you'd just be an Earth Pony and just be angry at everything. Like, I can't <laughs> fly. I can't do magic. Cool. All right. Use your cool. magic to give me magic. <laughs> it's magic. It works. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. <laughs> I would fly a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. Just fly. That's it. I'd be like, I'm good. I'm ready to be human <laughs> again. I flew. <laughs> that I comment makes me scared if Soul Rock became an alicorn. <laughs> <laughs> um, You'd be the best princess. <laughs> the best. <laughs> um, you said that you did theater. What is the most weirdest, awkwardest part that you've ever had to play in a play? I was, um, that's tough. I, um, I cross-dressed a lot because I was always cast as, like, dudes <laughs> as when I was a kid because the boys' voices hadn't dropped yet, and I have this magnificent low voice, and they, you know, I would have to sing. So I was, like, Nicely Nicely Johnson in um, uh, Guys and Dolls and, like, you know, all those roles. I had a goatee. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> but I, I um, if you know the musical Carousel, there's a character called Mrs. Mullins, and there are only two portrayals of Mrs. Mullins. You either have her as like um, an old hag who's just grumpy all the time and uh, wants to sleep with the main character, or you have this like very sexualized, like big boobs character. Guess which one I was? The second one. <laughs> so they set me up with like, I was a um, senior in high school and they had to set me up with these like fake boobs and this push up bra and it was like, very opposite of my personality, but I'm an actor, so I'm like, okay, I can do this, all right. <laughs> and I was actually nominated for a Halo Award for that, which is like the award thing in Connecticut, so that was awesome. Um, yeah, so it was just, getting into that role was, was tough, just because it was so, so opposite my personality, but yeah. I, I, d I do acting, and I remember in middle school, I had to play a donkey in one <laughs> play. Yeah, that's almost like having. It was blues. called Caveman <laughs> Blues. It was like a story about cavemen, and there was a donkey in it. <laughs> I was it, a donkey. My first role was um, I went to Catholic school, and we were doing like the story of Jesus' Christmas birth story. Yeah, it was fun, and I got to be a star. That was my first role. I was a star, <laughs> you know, which is ironic. Oh, <laughs> hello. Hello. Okay, for the male no whacker. If yes. there was any redeeming quality in the show, what would it be for you? Well, I mean, I can pick non-redeeming qualities. <laughs> can I do that instead? The fact that there's horse puns everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, redeeming but that's the main appeal. Redeeming. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> you are kicked for the tw second time. In in my own <laughs> panel? All right, goodbye. <laughs> um, oh, God. Redeeming quality of the show. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just don't think it's any much better than any other kids' show. Uh, that 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 that's it. I mean the vo yeah, the voice acting's good. I mean the the animations are you know standard. Uh, so yeah, I mean I, I it's fine, and I, I don't have anything against the show. So yeah, I mean I get other than the horse puns, <laughs> and the not using magic when they should be. <laughs> yeah, just about it. Right. We're we're about out of time. Right? We're out of time. All right. That's like perfect timing to be running out of questions because like I think we're we're out of time. Oh wait, does we got someone with a question or no? You're just taking the microphone. Okay, we're <laughs> done. Uh, we are done. Thank you so I'm much. I'm gonna be uh, if you guys want me to sign or take pictures and stuff. I just want to move out of the room because there's another panel coming in and I want to be rude. So we're just gonna go out there and then I'll do whatever you guys want. And uh, the Elite Three panel tomorrow, two o'clock. They said right, two fifteen at panel two. If you want to preview Pokemon Bridge. <laughs> <laughs>